Hi guys. It's time to answer the Q and A. <laughs> yeah, well, that was good. <laughs> People want to know how we met, like in the beginning. Yeah, it's a funny story, mm. at least from my perspective. Yeah. Because I was not looking for anything mm. at all. Actually, it was kind of like the opposite mm. for me. Uh, well, actually, it was kind of like my one of my best friends. She was like, "Hey, you need to find a boyfriend." So she was making fun of me, and then she stole my phone, and she started writing a lot of random guys. I was one of the random guys. He, he was one of the random guys, <laughs> and then she was like, "Hey, you just she just wanted to start up something," and I was actually pretty mad at her in the beginning. Actually, not only her, but also my sister and some of my sister's friends and everyone was just having fun and writing to people from my phone. I mean, after that, I was a little bit like, okay, stop you guys. But then somehow you just caught my attention and we just started writing a lot. And I'm really a shy person, so we were talking a little bit about meeting up and I was like, no, that's never going to happen. I'm too shy to do that. But after a while, you kind of took me into meeting. Mm. The reason why I had to find some friend is because I only had the friends at the club and just wanted to make some friends beside football. And I really, really need uh, some friends just I can talk about some different stuff. Just wanted to make some good friends and she was one of them. And we kind of hit it off when we just had a talk and I really liked her and she was very pure. And when I saw her in the beginning outside, Oh my god, okay. you have no idea how beautiful you are. At the same time, you had a very nice personality and I think that was the reason. And I'm so happy now that I decided to meet you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Nadia for taking my phone and yeah. so Basically we met through the app, right? <laughs> yeah. I think we have been together for almost one and a half years, right? Mm. Through the time that I was dating with her, I just realized how a good person she was and her personality is just as pure as water, I would say, because she's, as you can see, it's just amazing and I'm very mm. happy that I found you. Yeah. I'm very happy to decide to marry with this girl. I have, I was never really good at dating and I haven't really been, actually you were my first boyfriend. Mm. So, um, anyways, for me it was more important, I've always been like, if I don't feel anything, I wouldn't just do it. I don't know, just meeting you the first time, I was so like, okay, there's something special to this guy and we had a lot of stuff in common and I really liked your personality. I could just feel like straight away, I was just like, okay, there's something here. And then we started dating and it just got bigger and bigger. I don't know if I should tell this, but we were apart for a while. While we were being apart, I was kind of feeling like, okay, what I just left, the relationship I just left, um, I could just feel like that was something special that I could never have again, no matter what, how many guys I would try. That sounds so horrible. <laughs> I don't like this, this is getting cringy. Anyways, I could just feel like something was was not right and I was like, I just wanted to go back again. Mm. But I'm happy that we kind of decide to meet up again and, and decide to engage and decide to marry. What I think about her strengths is that she's very kind and she's always put the other person first and she just has a very pure heart and that's why I like her most and she makes me very happy whenever I'm being around with her. And your strengths? Mm. Yeah. I would say one of the things that I really admire about you is um, how passionate you are. Mm. Like everything. It's like, for example, your football. Mm. You're so passionate and you're just like putting in all of your work. And it's not just football. I mean, if you have something that you really want to do, mm. then you really want to do it and you put in all of your work and effort to make it happen. And I think a lot of people, they could learn something about mm. that because you really do that a lot and I'm so like, oh, I wish I could do that. Mm. That's one of the things, but I feel, oh, there's so many strengths. 
Mm. I mean, really? yeah, yeah. Okay. at least in my opinion. But one of the things that I really like too is like, um, I don't know if that's more common in Korea than it is here mm. in Denmark, but your relationship to your family and everything is just so strong. My opinion, I mean, I've lived in Korea 16 years. I'm 24 years old now, and I've lived in Europe one third of my life in Europe. Now, when I lived in Korea, there is no um, sharing house before you marriage. But over the time I lived in Europe, I have a different perspective than what they think in Korea. For me, it's pretty simple that at least you need to know the person well before you marriage. Mm. But what if you marriage and then you're like, not able to live exactly. together. That's what I didn't want. That. That's why we, mm. we kind of decide to live together. I feel like a lot of Danish people, they kind of rush, mm. if that makes sense. They, they just get married after they have the babies and everything, but maybe to some it's not that important. Mm. I guess yes and no. I mean, some people they get married very old. But I am one. I must admit that I'm one of the first of my friends who mm. are getting married. But I still know some of my not close friends, but people that I know mm. who's around my age who are mm. getting married before me as well. Mm. It's all about the feelings. I think if you feel like you met someone that you can go for the rest of your mm. life, then go, go for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are fighting all the time. I hate you! We've never been fighting. We have been together one and a half years and we have known each other almost three years now. Mm. But we've never been fighting. There's been some disagreements, but not, not any no. fighting. I think it's because we're really good at talking. Yeah. Talking it through, like mm. we understand each other mm. and we both like very open. Exactly. Because we kind of know that we have different cultures mm -hmm. and we respect it a lot. And I think marriage is not about like putting one culture to into yours. It's mm -hmm. like more like you, you you live together with someone that that someone has been grew up in totally different ways and different cultures. And it ju you just need to combine it together. You just have to find a way to yeah. make a balance and yeah. make it work for you. We never been fighting each other so far, and we're not gonna fight. And even if we fight, I think no problem. I'm so bad at being mad. We're just happy, as you can see. We're just like this every single day. We're a very happy couple, and I'm very proud to be fiance and going to mm -hmm. be husband. I'm very proud, That's and I'm good very happy. Both ways. Yeah. <laughs> And we are planning to get married next year, summer. Cause this, summer wedding. Yeah. We decide to marry to get married in the month. Mm. We've been thinking, talking about like after mm. your career, it would be nice to live close to either your parents mm. or my parents. And right now they live in Denmark, Germany. Yeah. So only the future will tell. Exactly. <laughs> Time will tell. Yeah. But my plan for now is that. My contract is running out this summer and I kind of want to uh, try to go out of Denmark. Therefore, I'm just waiting for the new clubs and I will see what I can find in the next couple of months. That's good questions because we are working together. We combining our works into one video. One video. I'm doing the basic parts like cutting You're doing the, the hard work. Yeah, exactly. And I'm so doing hard. the funny part. Exactly. I think we pretty much said everything that we need oh, to do. To... We're sorry if there are some questions that we left behind, but yeah. we will probably do another Q and A in the future. Exactly. So, but if you would like us to answer more questions in the future, you can just keep writing exactly. questions and we will, we will kind of collect them mm -hmm. and answer in another yeah. video. Thank you guys for the nice questions and we really appreciate it. Yeah, it was so much fun. Thank you for subscribing our channels and like our channels and we would like to make some good videos in the, in the futures as well. Thank you very much guys and Thank you. see you next time. Bye! Bye.